Aloha, everybody. This is Dave Wallace coming to you from my home here in Waihua, Hawaii. And it's Sunday, so it's tarot night. Uh, these are the cards that I drew for as a guide for this coming week, um, beginning on the 13th of February until the 20th of February for an entire week. Okay, so uh, let's get to the cards. The first card that I drew is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a card that uh, stands for truth, okay? Uh, truth and being fair, truth and fairness, okay? Uh, the page cards also um, suggest a new path or a new beginning. So um, it's a reminder if you're beginning something new or starting a new venture, um, make sure that you're dealing with truth and being fair, okay? at the very beginning of anything that you start, okay? And that's a good way to start uh, Monday at work, okay? The second card that I drew is a magician. And the magician is a very skilled person, okay? Very well-educated, uh, very knowledgeable, and has a lot of life experience. And uh, the magician is seen as a manifester, a person that's uh, able to uh, conjure things up uh, from the imagination and um, bring it into reality. So this is the nature of the magician. A lot of the things that he does, however, is based on knowledge. So um, when this card comes up in a <clears throat> in a career reading, it suggests that um, Perhaps you don't know as much as you need, and you probably need to go to school or get the, the necessary training to um, to make yourself more marketable. Okay, now in these times um, where uh, I, I reading in um, in in the news and stuff about um, IT people being laid off, and um, you know. It's really challenging getting jobs. Uh, some people are trying to hold on to their jobs and they're gone. Um, so uh, in times like this, it's really important that you make yourself stand out. Okay. And the way you stand out is getting more training, getting more skills and adding to your uh, adding to your repertoire. Okay or your resume and build up that experience. So that's what this uh, card is suggesting. So if you're having difficulty at work and uh, difficulty finding work, um, get the necessary training and look at the available fields out there and um, see where there's a need and a shortage of workers. That's where it's gonna be paying better. And most of this um, new jobs that's going to be opening or uh, opportunity is going to require certain skills. Get those skills, learn how to do it, and you can uh, you can make yourself uh, very very attractive in the market. Okay. Now, um, I know it, you know in, in a few days. Uh, in fact, on Tuesday it's uh, Valentine's Day. And this is a time to spend with your with your loved ones, okay, of your loved one, a special one. However, um, the card that comes up next is the hermit, okay. And when the hermit card shows up, it's a reminder that um, you need some, uh, you need to spend some time alone to heal and to uh, contemplate things, to assess yourself. And sometimes just being alone, taking a break from other people's and hear yourself think and uh, is very healing in a way. So uh, this week, try and find a, a time where you can spend time alone and reflect. The third, uh, the fourth card is um, the two of, two of Pentacles. And when I see this coming up, uh, especially in a financial uh, when people are doing uh, financial reads and this comes up, it suggests that um, you know there's a shortage on funds or resources that you're gonna have to learn how to juggle. Okay, juggle your resources uh, to balance uh, things out. 
Um, so there's two ways of looking at this card. One, you don't have enough uh, uh, resources, so you're going to have to try and juggle things around. Or um, your life is off balance and you need to re um, readjust your life so it brings your life back into balance. Okay? And so um, that could be on a personal level or uh, financial. Okay? And the final card is uh, we've seen this card comes up uh, several times. It's the um, and this card is the uh, Seven of Wands. And for the Seven of Wands, um, this is a person um, kind of like being pushed around and possibly bullied. And he finally takes a stand for himself and say, no more. Okay. And this is a suggestion. If you're being uh, taken advantage of or find yourself being pushed around, um, now's the time to you know, stand your ground and say no more. You know, you need to um, put people on notice that uh, you're not going to take their BS anymore and uh, to so that they treat you fairly. When you do stuff like this uh, and you put people on notice, like saying hey, what you're doing needs to stop, stop right now. Um, by putting people on notice, uh, they're going to have a uh, newfound respect for you. Okay, and uh, newfound respect for you, and um, you know, for the people that uh, want to work with you, they're gonna take it as so. Uh, okay, um, these are boundaries. So um, this is a person defending their boundaries. What's important to them? Okay, so um, these are the guides for this week. Um, you know, starting. Um, Starting with uh, dealing with honesty on, on new projects that are coming up, uh, learning all you can about your job and preparing yourself better, okay, and spending time alone and uh, trying to find balance in your life and uh, stand your ground. Uh, don't be afraid to push back when people try and uh, corner you in to manipulate you and you say, no, that's not happening. Okay, so this is a guide for you folks uh, this week, and hopefully it's helpful. And uh, if you folks have any questions, uh, please uh, call the number that I have here. You, know, you can make appointments. I do give um, more in-depth readings, uh, more detailed readings, specifically tailored to you. Right now, I'm doing it for a general public, so it's kind of like a shotgun thing. But when it comes to, um, you know, individuals, it's even more accurate because they're focusing on one person. So if you want to get a reading from me, uh, tarot reading or intuitive readings, I do both. And um, I also had an interesting um, opportunity, actually, a person asking me to do um, past life regression. And it's something that I've done in the past. And so if you're interested in that, uh, just give me a call. Okay. Anyway, um, hopefully this helps you folks this week. And until next week, uh, next week, Sunday, this is Dave Wallace from Waiwa, Hawaii. Say mahalo for watching and aloha.